Hello Internet, this is Squeaky and in this video we are going to be talking about selective recording, meaning how you can capture and record your gameplay footage to its own video file on your computer and then maybe capture your webcam into its own video file and then in post-production merge this together. So this has been a feature that has been built in into Streamlabs OBS or Streamlabs desktop, but you can actually achieve the same thing using the regular OBS Studio. So in this video, we are going to be doing this together step by step so you can see the basics on how you can set this up. So the first step we need to do is actually to download OBS Studio on our computer. So you might already have OBS Studio downloaded and installed on your computer. I have, but we can't actually use that version. And later on you will understand why we can't use it. So what we need to do here is to basically download OBS Studio. So I'm just going to Google it here. OBS Studio download. So we go to the download page here. And we're going to scroll down. I'm using Windows here. And we're not going to download the installer, meaning the executable file. But instead, we're going to download the zip file, the standalone zip file. So I'm going to press on download zip file here. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. As you can see here, it will be downloaded to my desktop here. So once it has been downloaded, we're just going to extract it. So I'm going to right click on this file here and then take extract and I'm going to extract this to a folder on my desktop. So this will take a few seconds here, but basically what we're doing is unpacking OBS Studio into this folder. Okay, so once it has been extracted, we actually need two versions of OBS Studio. So what I'm going to do here is basically just copy the extracted folder. So I'm going to right click here and then make a copy here. So this will take a few seconds here as well. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to rename this folder to OBS desktop and I'm going to rename this folder to OBS uh, camera and I can delete this zip file here because we no longer need it. So right now we have two folders on our desktop here, OBS desktop and OBS camera, both containing OBS studio. So if I just double click here and open it up, you can see here that it contains a bin, data and plugins. And if I do the same thing here on the camera folder, you will see it's basically the same thing because we just copied the folder. So next thing I want to do here is actually create some shortcuts here to make it more convenient. So I'm going into the bin folder here and then the 64 version, and I'm just going to create a desktop shortcut. So I'm just going to right click and then drag this to desktop and then create a shortcut. And I'm going to do the same thing with the camera folder, go into the bin folder and then to OBS 64 and create a shortcut here. I'm going to put them next to each other. And then I'm going to rename this one to OBS desktop. And I'm going to rename this shortcut to OBS camera. So you can put these shortcuts wherever you want to. I just put it on a desktop, but you can probably put it in your start menu if you want to. Okay, so we have created our shortcuts here on desktop here. And the next thing I want to show you is what will happen if we actually just launch one of these OBS Studio versions. So I'm just basically just going to double click on the shortcut and let's see what happens. So as you can see, we get a warning here and it says that OBS is already running, which is true because I'm recording this video using my installed OBS Studio. And this is why we get this warning because we already have OBS Studio running. And this is important to understand why we installed the zip archive version and not the installer. So if you install OBS Studio using the installer, you will create like an one single instance of OBS Studio meaning all your OBS settings and profiles and scenes and source will be global on your computer. So this is why we are getting this warning message. So what I'm going to do here is to press cancel. So in order to bypass this, we actually need to launch the OBS Studio in a portable mode. So before I do that, I'm just going to close down this here so you will understand what's going on. So I'm just going up a folder here to the OBS camera, okay? So the reason why I'm showing you this folder is because if you launch OBS Studio in a portable mode, the settings and profiles, source and scenes won't actually be global, but we will actually be saved in its folder. So the OBS desktop settings will be in its folder. 
and the OBS camera settings will be in its own folder. So the next question we need to answer is how do we actually launch OBS Studio in a portable mode? Well, we can use Google here again. So let me just take my browser and I'm going to Google on OBS Studio launch arguments. And here we can see that it goes to a wiki page. And if you scroll down here, it says launch parameters. And we can actually see that there is a parameter we can use that is called dash dash portable or just dash P. So if we launch OBS Studio using this parameter, we will actually launch OBS Studio in portable mode. So let's try this. So I'm going to right click on my OBS desktop and I'm going to take properties and I'm going to go down to target. And you see that the target here is OBS 64.exe. So I'm just going to write space dash dash portable. And I'm going to apply this. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the OBS camera. Target space dash dash portable. This means that if we start OBS Studio using these two shortcuts here, they will be started in portable mode. So we can actually try this out here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to move this here because there is something we're going to notice when we launch these uh, OBS Studios. So I'm just going to double click on OBS Desktop and let's see what happens. So I don't know if you saw what happened here, but we actually created a new folder called config. So we are in the OBS desktop folder and a new folder was just created called config. And if you open up the OBS camera, you will see that we don't have a folder called config. But basically we've started OBS Studio now in portable mode and all the configurations is now saved in this config file, meaning it won't disturb any other OBS Studio uh, instances we have on our computer. So in this example, we are going to optimize for recording. So I'm just going to blast through these settings. Next. 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 That's good. And we're going to do the same thing for the OBS camera version. So I'm going to open it up here. And then I'm going to select recording, optimize for recording, next, next, next. So right now we actually have two OBS Studio instances running on our computer and we can put them next to each other here. Okay, so now we have two OBS Studios running uh, next to each other. So how do we actually achieve the uh, selective recording? Well, since this is basically OBS Studio, we just need to add sources. So before I do that, I'm going to rename this uh, scene here to desktop and I'm going to rename this scene here to um, camera. Okay. And as an example here, let me just close down these two OBS studios. So I'm going to close down here and I'm going to relaunch them. And as you can see here, they will actually preserve their settings. So this is camera and this is desktop. So each OBS Studio has its own settings. So let's start by adding a source that will capture our desktop. So I'm just going to press on the plus button here and then I'm going to take display capture and I'm just going to call this uh, center monitor because I have three monitors. And this is good. So this is now capturing my desktop. And we're going to do the same thing here for the camera OBS. So I actually have two webcams in front of me. So I'm using my primary one, but I actually have a very cheap uh, USB camera here. So I'm just going to press on the plus button here and then take video capture device. And I'm going to call this uh, webcam. And then I'm going to select my second USB camera. And as you can see, I have a green screen here behind me. So this is my primary one and this is the second budget camera I have. So this is good. So I'm going to press OK. So the next thing I want to do here is just to do some basic settings. So if you're going to use OBS Studio to do some recording on your desktop, there are a bunch of guides on how to optimize all settings, but I'm just going to do some very basic settings here. So what I'm going to do here is go to file and then settings. Then I'm going down to output and I'm going to select my desktop as the destination where I want to have my files. So this is on my desktop here and I'm going to do the same thing for the other OBS settings. Then go down to output and then select my desktop here as well. This is good. Apply, apply. 
and then I'm going to down to advanced advanced and I'm just going to rename the file that is generated when I record things so this is my camera so I'm just going to put underscore cam on this one and on this one here I'm going to put underscore a desktop and I'm going to put apply so these are the basic settings I just want to do for this demonstration so regarding audio, you need to set up your own audio settings here. What you want to capture in the different OBS so they get stored in their own video files. So this is my camera, so I obviously don't want to record my desktop audio, so I'm just going to mute that. And since this is my desktop OBS, I'm not going to record my microphone. So it will be something like this. Okay, so I think the next thing we need to do is to actually try this out. So I'm just going to put these next to each other here. And then I just want to move these desktop items just one step up here, like this. And then I'm just going to hit record on both of my OBS instances. So I'm going to start the camera recording. And then I'm going to start my desktop recording. And as you can see, two new files are created on my desktop. And one is called underscore cam and the other one is called underscore desktop. So this is recording my desktop right now. And this is recording just my camera. So I'm just going to have this running for a few seconds. So I'm going to stop recording here right now. Stop recording. And let's actually see how this turns out. So this is my camera. Okay, that's good. And this is my desktop. This is awesome. So this is basically how you do selective recording with OBS Studio. So before we end this video, I just want to do the final step, which is post-production. How do you actually merge these two files together to actually create some kind of content, which we can upload on YouTube? So we are going to use DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just going to open that up. DaVinci Resolve here. So this is DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm going to do here is to drag both of these files we've just created into our media pool. So I'm just going to copy and drag. And because we have different frame rates, it gives us this warning. But in our case, in our example, we don't care. Let's just take change. Maximize and then go to edit. Then we want to drag in our desktop like this. So this is our desktop footage or the gameplay footage or whatever you want to. And then we're going to drag in our camera footage here. So as you can see, my face is covering everything. So what I'm going to do here is to select my camera and then take transform. And I'm just going to make this smaller like here. I'm going to put it down here because it looks more professional, right? And we need to eliminate a green screen here as well. And in DaVinci Resolve, you can do this in multiple ways. So one way is to go to effects and then pick open FX and then search on key. Take the 3D key here, put it on your camera footage. Then head over to right here on effects. And then we're going to take the open FX overlay. And we are just basically going to key out all the green. So I'm going to do like this. Voila. And as you can see, we now have removed the green screen in a very, very basic way. So I'm going to take transform here again. And I'm going to make this a bit larger. I'm going to put myself here. And as you can see, we've now created a very, very basic video using two different video files, one for our desktop and one of our webcam. And then we just need to export this and upload this to YouTube. So this was a very quick demonstration on how you can achieve selective recording using only OBS Studio. So as usual, if you thought that this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to write a comment and subscribe if you like more of my content I do here. And I wish you a continued great day. Find it so hard to breathe Cause when you get too close I lose my way and I freeze I wish you knew